How's it going, everybody? How's it going, everybody? So, it, we have a special announcement to make. If you want to skip the announcement, go ahead and go to this timestamp. Do you think they're all gone? Mm-hmm. All right. We have merch! We do? We do. Even Lucy has merch. What? So we made all kinds of different designs. Uh, some are for people who want merch specifically from this channel, but we also have a bunch of other stuff on there that's more universal. So there's a little bit for everyone. Even the kids have merch. So Lizzie, what's on your shirt? So this is a Dritten. A Dritten is half cat, half dragon. And it has a little football. It does, that's adorable. Mm -hmm. That is a good design. But Lucy also, designed this shirt herself. This is actually her shirt. So we have a bit of a competition going on to see which one of us can sell the most shirts. Do you think I'm gonna sell more or you? Mm. I don't know I either. Don't know. <laughs> so if you wanna see any of the merch that we've made, go ahead and go down to the description. There's gonna be a link to our merch store down there. And if we figure out how to put the banner down below the video, there should also be a banner on the video by the time this comes out. So click the link. Click the link. Right, Lucy, are you ready? Mm-hmm. All right, so today you're gonna learn how to make a hand cut that is perfectly straight. Do you think this is something you can do? Yes. Okay. All right, so this is one of those things that a lot of people, they think it's easy until they actually try to do it, and I see most people do this wrong. Like 99% of people don't know how to make a straight cut because usually what happens is a person will start to make a cut, and then they'll start to wander left or right, and you're gonna end up with an angle cut into your board. So I'm gonna show you how to keep that from happening, okay? Okay. All right, can you go ahead and screw that in for me? Screw it. There you go, yep, yep, that's fine. Mm -hmm. We need six boards that are nine inches and four boards that are five inches. So we're gonna start with these five inch boards, okay? So what we do is we lay this out, we're gonna pull against here, mm -hmm. and I'm going to go ahead and mark at five inch, okay? Mm -hmm. So, what you want to do, this corner and these two flat sides, they're perfectly 90 degrees to each other, so those are going to be our references. You don't want to reference off of an opposite side, okay? Mm -hmm. Always want to try your best to, to reference off the same, the same side if you can. So we're going to put this here, and I'm going to draw a line, mm -hmm. okay? A and line. then we also need a second line on this side, and I'll show you why that is in a second. I'm going to back okay. up just a little bit. So you want to make a line right there. That's your line that you're gonna follow, okay? And then I'm gonna take this line and extend it down. Okay, so these lines, if we were to cut straight through both lines in both directions, you're gonna have a perfectly flat cut because you want your cut to be flat on the end of the board, right? Mm -hmm. This is considered our, uh, this is our usable piece. This is the piece we're going to use, okay? And this is gonna be our considered our waist side. Okay. Every time you make a cut, you're actually gonna be removing this much material, the thickness of your blade. Mm -hmm. That's how much material you're removing. So if you were to cut right on the line, you wouldn't have the right length of board. So you wanna cut just to the side of it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this first one for you and I'm gonna show you what we're doing, okay? Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put our blade right there. You see how I'm guiding it with my thumb? Mm -hmm. I'm not putting my thumb next to the teeth. I'm putting it on the flat. This won't cut you. This will, okay? okay? Yeah. So we're going to take this and we're going to pull back. Okay? Because this saw cuts when you pull. So we pull back and we just make ourselves a line. You see how I'm going off center already? You see how this line is going that way? Yep. Right now is a good time to correct that. If, if you keep cutting on that same line, you won't be able to correct it later. So your goal is to line up your saw with that line and make a kerf. Okay. So what's okay. a kerf? A kerf is the spot where you remove the material. That line I just made, there's a piece <laughs> of wood missing now. There's a little shallow groove that we cut, okay? Wow. So we're gonna go ahead and make that just a little bit deeper and we're gonna cut straight down following this line down here, okay? Okay. So pull, pull, pull. We're not pressing down, okay? We're pressing, well, I mean, we're, we're pressing down a tiny bit. If you press down too hard, it'll jam. You see how it doesn't want to move? Yeah. So we're just gonna get the saw moving, and then we just want to pull. And as long as you see sawdust coming out of it, you see the sawdust being pulled out? Mm -hmm. Then you're doing good. All right, so now look how deep that groove is. Yeah. See how it's only the, the, the depth of the teeth? Yep. Now what we do is we're gonna drop the saw. And what that means is we're gonna come down here, and we're going to 
just... We're gonna start following this line now, okay? Okay. And you see how I can guide where the groove is? And now I have a groove following this line. Mm -hmm. So now what we have, if you can think about what the wood looks on the inside of this groove, we have a flat spot inside this groove here and a flat spot here, and that makes a point. Yep. Your goal is to always cut the point. If you keep cutting the flat, what happens is you'll get halfway through and then your saw will start to stick. Your saw will stick and when you push it forward, it's gonna do, it's gonna do this a lot. So your goal is to cut that point. So I'm gonna do this first one for you and just show you how it goes, okay? Okay, so we pull straight. And then we're gonna start cutting this corner and we're gonna start coming down again. And then we're gonna come up. And then we're gonna come down. What I'm doing is I'm remembering where the point is as I cut. And we always wanna cut the point because the point won't jam. And we can come down here if we wanted. And if we want to, we can come back up here, cut this some more. And we're always following the line. And we're also, we're following both lines and we're always following that point, okay? Okay. Okay, now this is the biggest trick, okay? If you go too fast, you'll break the bottom of the board. This is very fragile. This last corner that we cut is really fragile. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slow down right when we get to the end. Okay, I can feel how this is moving a lot. So we're just gonna stop putting any downward pressure and we're just gonna let the weight of the saw. I could actually hold this with two fingers if I wanted to. And we just let it go down. Don't drop the saw though. Wow. You see, and come look at this. You see how square this, this flat is because we did all that? Yeah. So that's what I want you to learn to do today, okay? So let's go ahead and measure another one at five inch. So go ahead and mark a line at five inches. Good, very nice. And so now go ahead and put your pencil back on there. Okay, I'm gonna darken your line for you, okay? Mm -hmm. So you wanna just kinda go across until you know the line is nice and dark. And then what you wanna do is draw one little tick mark right there on that corner so that we can follow the line on the other side, okay? There you go, good job. All right, and then go ahead and put your line on there again. Go. Draw it two more times, okay? Good job. All right, are you ready for the difficult part? Yeah. Okay, so remember, when you put your hand on here, this is very sharp and it can cut your hand open, okay? So your goal is to be very gentle. We're gonna cut very gently. You're not gonna push down really hard. You're not gonna pull back really hard. You're gonna put this right next to the line. You see that? You see how it's right next to the line? Mm -hmm. You want your saw to touch the edge of the line. Okay. Okay, you're actually gonna be on this side because, remember, this is our usable piece, this is our waste piece, this is where all the kerf is gonna be on that side, okay? So go ahead and put your hand on here, hold the board with your hand, and you're gonna use your thumb. You're gonna be on this side of the line. There you go. And you're gonna cut the corner first, and then you're gonna drop the front of the saw into the kerf, okay? Watch your thumb, put your thumb on the side, please. Put your thumb on the blade, otherwise you're gonna cut your thumb. There you go, good job. Like this? Yep, yep, and then just pull back. Don't push down, just pull back. Good. Very good. Good job. Do it again. There you go. Okay, just keep going. I'm gonna help guide you, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. We're gonna make sure your hand stays twisted straight, okay? And you're gonna pull the saw straight away from the cut. There you go. There you go. All right, you see that curve you cut? Mm -hmm. You did it, that's your curve. And so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna start cutting this corner and you're gonna do the same thing and follow that line down in the back. Let's mm -hmm. so go ahead and put it up here. Here, real quick. I want you to keep your, your fingers straight, okay? And you go just like that. And keep your thumb up a little higher. Good. All right, now drop the, drop the thing. There you go. 
Okay, you see how you still have sawdust coming out? Mm -hmm. As long as sawdust is coming out, you don't need to push any harder, okay? Good job. Uh -oh. huh? All right, do you hear how the sound is changing? Mm -hmm. Yep, it's getting hollower. Keep going right at that angle. That's a perfect angle. All right, all right, stop. Okay, okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay, come over here real quick. You can see that it's flexing a lot, right? Yeah. All right, so what you gotta do is hold your hand really far away from the blade. Your goal is to make sure it doesn't fall down or break, okay? You're just holding it there while you finish your cut. Now when this comes down, two things. You're gonna let the weight of the saw make the cut, mm -hmm. and you're not gonna drop the saw on the floor, mm -hmm. okay? Those are the two things to remember. Now just pull the full, all, you let, use all of the teeth of the saw. There you go, nice. I did it. High five. <laughs> Good job. And you did it. Let's see what you did. Gee, very nice and straight, look at that. So you can see the cut that I made. It's nice and flat, can you, can you touch it real quick? So that's what happens if you can keep the saw straight the entire time. Yours was a little wobbly, and so you can feel how it's a little bumpy. Mm -hmm. For your first cut, that was actually really good. That's better than most people do. This is better than my first cut because I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. So, so how were you doing it? I did the same thing everyone else does. I just started on the top and I just cut until I got to the bottom, and then I saw that it was all messed up. Like That's what most people do. But because you, were, you started, you can actually see where some of your lines were. I think it was like this where you were cutting here, and you were cutting here, and then you were cutting here. That's what keeps your line straight. So that's actually a really nice cut. Good job. <laughs> That's all right. Good job. <clears throat> See, did you put the saw down? High five. Good job, Lucy. It looks really nice. I like this one. This one turned out really well. Much, much cleaner. You get better at this every time. It looks like, like, tiny little stairs on it. Oh, yep, tiny little ones. That's not bad, though. That's definitely better than the first one. Yeah, and also this, like, one tiny stair. Thing. Yep, yep, you want to try to avoid those as much as you can, but that just comes with practice. You're doing good. So what do you say I help you cut the rest of these, and then uh, we'll uh, end the video. Sound good? Okay. So, this is what we cut. We have our four legs, mm -hmm. okay? And then we have these little blocks that we're gonna cut tenons into, and that's gonna sit right there. We have another one for right here. And then we're gonna do simple cross braces. So we're gonna put a tenon right flush with the top, and this tenon is gonna be right in here. And that's gonna be our table. And then we can cut a top for the table. Does that sound good? Yay! So this is part one of Woodworking 101 with Lucy. And so next week, we're gonna learn how to cut tenons using the same saw technique. And we're going to be making a table. Woo! Very cool. Because Lucy and Ellie needed a little table to go with their chairs. So we will do this next we time. We were just stealing little laundry baskets. Is that what you guys were doing? Yep. Using laundry baskets? That's adorable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we had a little tea party and we actually put water in our tea, tea thingies and now we have fake cake so now I'm just... <laughs> Cute. Well, now you guys are gonna have a proper table when we're done with this. <clears throat> I guess that's it. Ready to end the video? Mm -hmm. All right, catch y'all next time. Catch y'all next time. Can we swing now? Okay, fine, we'll go swing. Yay! Goodbye. Bye.